Hi, it's Vicki with Condi Systems Technical Support, and I'm in Corel Draw X6. And what I have here is our Go Pantone color uh, palette, and the result of a sublimated Pantone color palette. So the Pantone color palette is an awesome, outstanding color chart that we have here at Condi. We can uh, get to you. Uh, it has a variety of color and t shades that are around. Um, basically it's about 26 pages so as you can see I have it open um, I took one of the pages here and just sublimated it um, and put the results here beside it I wanted to show you a little bit how to use the color palette the Pantone color palette and we often will tell you to sublimate a color palette for spot color um, also we'll tell you to sublimate a color palette uh, to use so you can match values and also to determine if your color is correct, uh, correctly printing out on your printer. So what happens is, is when you get a color palette um, and you have to match color with something that you need to sublimate, um, the Pantone color palette having so many values of color, and as you can see, if you scroll in here, you can see what those values are uh, just up under the blocks. So having so many colors to choose from, you can sublimate the color palette if you're trying to pick a red or a blue or something and just um, uh, the sublimated value, the end result would be something that you can tangibly walk up to with your image and match those colors after your your image has been processed, meaning, meaning you have sublimated it onto something. Uh, this is on metal, using one of our Unisub uh, metals here. It's a great product to use for sublimating your color charts on. Also, you could mount use a mouse pad. Uh, hardboard is good. FRP is good. And um, be able to compare those palettes side by side as I'm demonstrating here. Okay, so once we've uh, sublimated the color palette and we can determine that our color is, 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 is tweaked in as close as we can get it, we can start using it as a spot color resource for our projects and our jobs when we have to match logos, school colors, and things like that. Um, this was the original chart here to my left. This is my sublimated uh, image. This is just a reflection here where I took the picture so you can just overlook that. But if we go over here and choose our little eyedropper, now we can scroll over and find RGB values uh, in the chart that we could convert from Pantone or uh, do whatever we want to to manipulate color better with the uh, end result product. And so to do that, um, you can switch these values by, again, zooming in and reading what value these are under your Pantone chart, and then looking to see what it would be to convert that color to an RGB or just uh, whatever you want for that matter. Uh, once you have something on the page and you need to match the color, you can put it side by side with the color palette here that you have sublimated. And then you know that when you sublimate that color, how it's going to turn out by simply looking at your sublimated color palette. And that's how it works. So to add a color to your color chart here, you could simply just click on I'm sorry, click on this eyedropper and then come over and click on something and that'll add the color to your color palette as well. Um, and that's how you go about using spot color uh, with the color with the match color palette, the end result of sublimation. So again, uh, this can be very well used to verify color on your printer, that your profiles are working correctly. It can also be used for matching spot color, a tangible um, low, I'm sorry, a tangible object where you can actually walk up to it, match the color, verify with your clients what color it is that, that, or verify with the client that it is the color they want to use with the end result of the sublimated value. Get those values and then uh, start using your spot color to add those colors to that particular image. So if you have any questions on how to use these palettes or if you need these palettes, you could send us an email to support at or you can just simply get in touch with your uh, 
account manager who can get you over to us as well. My name is Vicki and this is how you use color palettes, particularly the Pantone color palettes are great. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. Thank you.